Hello everyone, welcome to From the Heart. I'm Mary. And I'm Jeanette Cause, sitting in for Joshua Vickery. Orlando is widely known for its tourist spots and its attractions, but many people don't know about its thriving arts community. We're happy to introduce to you talented artists and passionate leaders whose ideas are shaping our arts community. How do they create and why? And how will Orlando benefit from a growing arts presence? On each episode, we'll meet influential leaders and artists who are truly making a difference. From the heart. Hello everyone, welcome to From the Heart. I am Jeanette. And I'm Mary. And we're excited to bring you all that's new and good when it comes to the arts in Central Florida. Today we're talking with award-winning artist Jason Hunt. We look forward to learning about Jason, how he got started, and his mission as an Orlando artist. And since Jason also happens to be Mary's husband, I look forward to learning what living with Mary has been like. Welcome, Jason. Thank you. Nice to be here. <laughs> <laughs> now, Jason, um, I am a big fan of yours. I know that Mary is, but I'm not your wife, and I happen to be a huge fan. Thank you. Um, your, your work is just beautiful. Can you tell us a little bit about um, your approach to your work? I approach my work as an uh, interest in human situations of how we relate to each other and how we see each other and how we don't see things that people do that really define who they are. Invisible moments to, I think, most people that artists tend to gravitate towards. Now I noticed that um, your your drawings are in black and white, and but still they're 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 rich in color and emotion. How do you pull out the emotion of a subject? Well, I think black and white cuts to the chase, and you look for the vulnerability, or some people might call dropping the mask, when people are not setting themselves to be seen as being grandiose or important, but relax like a child. There's no facade. And that's what you artists try to get to, to cut through the facade of what people are trying to project and really see them as they are. Uh, you work in graphite pencil? Yes. For a while, Jason's uh, paintings were in black and white, too. Mm -hmm. He would do what they would call white washes? Or washes? Well, actually, it was in c color first. I did w washes later on. I started as a graphic artist because in pencil, that's the only thing I could afford at the time. And I gradu I've gradually went to paint for about almost 20 years. Mm -hmm. Vivid colors, right? Yes, very yeah. bright. Now, do you uh, have, acrylic. Do you have a, um, a particular type of subject that you like more than, than others? I noticed you have a lot of musicians um, and there's a lot of children. What do you, what do you like to draw? Uh, human relationships fascinate me from, uh, as I say, the, from the cradle to the grave and everything in between. And the, the, what I try to capture most of the time is the simple bliss and the rapture of the experience of being alive. And I think art creates that uh, connection to everybody and the planet without words. You paint, you call your work moments in time? Yes. Um, and you do, you capture a look between a husband and wife or children if they're fighting over a toy or if they're in awe of something. When yeah. did you decide you wanted to paint and draw moments in time? Uh, very on, early on in life, I was a very quiet child, so I expressed myself through uh, drawing and creativity of that. Uh, so I used to draw in the dirt, and I used to draw upside down sometimes, just out of curiosity to see what it would look like. And I would watch my classmates create, and at the same time I would see them draw the sun with a face, and the sky would be like a straight line. I would take it out and point that there's no face in the sky and there's no line up there. My teacher would scold me for doing that because they were, I was stifling their concept of creativity, which you should never do. But you've, you, you from a, a very early age, saw things in a, in a, in a very different way? You yeah, were... somewhat. When I was about, I think in sixth grade, they, they estimate I was drawing at a uh, college level. I'm totally self-taught. You are? Yeah, never had a lesson of any sort, ever. Now, if anybody's ever seen uh, Jason's art, it is, it, it's exquisite. It's like a, looking at a photograph. That's very kind of you. Thank you. Well, tell Jeanette how that came to be, or us. <laughs> In the sense of, I mean, why, why I draw the way I do? Mm -hmm. uh, I think I tried to draw, 
I'm a bit of a dinosaur in the, as the world would look at it now because the abstract art is extremely, it's king. It's actually started with, with monks painting uh, of the scream in 1887, I think. That was the beginning of abstract art. And if you think of abstract art, it came around the same time as psychoanalysis with Sigmund Freud. Mm -hmm. and the inner man, the id, the inner child. And so Picasso and people like that and Dolly were trying to get back to be the child man. And that's why you have these little things of color and, and primitive forms. And that's what abstract art. And then we kind of gravitated into modern art, which actually, modern art that actually didn't take place until 1970. And, and that's when modern art absolutely took over. And that's a totally different art form. Um, abstract, though, isn't that supposed to be uh, an expression? Abstract is taking what exists and you simply diffuse it, or you take it apart and you put it back together and then your mind puts it like a puzzle. Uh -huh. But modern art threw everything out the window, and modern art has nothing to do with any rules whatsoever. What do you call your work? I'm a traditionalist. I'm a uh, representational artist. I draw things the way Norman Rockwell would. And I think people misunderstood what Norman Rockwell was doing. He's, they said his work was corny, and he tried to explain himself. He said, I'm not trying to draw the world or paint the world as, I, as it is. I'm tr painting it as I wish it was, that people were kind and children had a swimming hole to go to and fathers and mothers got along. And, and I tried to represent that, too. There are moments of that, and there's moments of madness, too, and I draw that as well. Now, would you say um, that your, your pictures, because they say so much, it's a moment in time, but it says so much. Would you say that your drawings are your words? Yeah, as much as a, as a sentence, you know, in a, in a book would be, or a paragraph, they're, they're tiny photographs of particular moments that I try to capture and freeze them in them so you can look at them and say, I, I relate to that or what is going on here and you understand and some people see it and they laugh and some people see the same moment and they cry because it touches something in them that they remembered or something they experienced. You know Jeanette, people sometimes come to his booth or into his uh, art studio and they literally cry. I, that just blows me away. I, I just, I'm so moved that they're so moved watching yeah. that. But um, I'm glad I, you brought up the studio. Yeah. Oh, now, where is your studio located in case people want to come and see your work in person? Because I've been there and it is, it's beautiful. Well, it's we'll tell everybody where it's. It's in downtown Orlando. It's called Fava. It's near the uh, First uh, Presbyterian Church of the Lake, Presbyterian Church. And uh, used to be an old uh, motel and they converted it into an, an art studio, which is a wonderful idea because artists, as you know, we don't go into this business, we're gonna make a lot of money. You're an artist because you have to be. You couldn't be anything else. I think uh, all children are born artists until people point out that they're doing something wrong. And I think the artists say you're doing something wrong and the ch child says, you don't know what you're talking about and they continue to do it. <laughs> And many people say, I can't, I'm not, I wish I could be an artist because I can't draw a straight line. And I often say to people, most art doesn't consist of straight lines, so you have half the battle won. Wow. You know, um, what I was wanting to ask uh, you about, Jason, is I know that you're an award-winning artist. When you go to pick your pieces for a show, are you trying to say something in particular with the pieces that you choose? How do you go about doing that? I'm not, I don't really have a conversation in the sense that I'm trying to create things that connect to each other outside of the fact they are human experiences. So I, I basically bring a collage and I let the individual look, pick and choose what they might like. Like when you go in the department store, if every shoe was the same, you'd walk out. And I try to, I don't do a variation of a theme. I, the theme is basically the human experience and the way we live. I like what George Bernard Shaw said, when he, wants to, when he wishes to look at his face, he looks into a mirror. When he wants to f look into his soul, he goes to art, mm. the theater, or he looks at a piece of sculpture, anything that invokes another reality, which art does. It, art actually talks about the unseen world and the, uh, the whole world is our, our canvas for all art forms. You create such Aww. a beautiful picture with your with your description and your passion and your words. I wish I could talk to them forever. I know. <laughs> Unfortunately, this brings That's us to the end of our segment. But if people want to contact you, you're at jasonhuntdrawings.com. Yeah. Yes, that's right. And you're also on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And you're at Faith Arts Village Orlando. Definitely. 
And now you know why I married him. Oh. <laughs> He's a cutie patootie. Uh -huh. <laughs> no. I couldn't you, do all this without the support of my beautiful wife, Mary. And it's the, it's the truth. I once said to another artist, your wife is a very nice person. And I said, yeah, she's only good for one thing. And he's the one who looked at me and I said, he said, what's that? And I said, everything. And I mean it. Oh, and with that, mm. <laughs> thank, you. thank you for watching uh, From the Heart. We'll be talking to Jason about his unique and creative journey when we return From the Heart.